All right, we're going to show you how to do the make up assignment option one in module two. So this week is all about makeup week and getting caught up. I'm going to choose the makeup assignment in Canvas and look at option one. It says to go through files to see if any of your paintings were photographed. If they are and you would like to grade them as is, you can do the following. Paste the photo in a text entry and grade yourself from one to four on craftsmanship and work ethic. Okay, let's stop there and try and do that first step. So we need to see if any of our paintings were actually kept at school and that Mrs. Nelson got a picture of it. I'm going to Files, Paintings Left at School. As you can see, there's some with uh, students' names. That's because they wrote their names on it or they were in their cubbies. Uh, some of them were on the wire rack with no names. So I'm going to check these to see if they are my landscape. Okay, maybe it's not that one. Okay, well, we're going to pretend it's this one. And I know this is someone's work, so remember, this is just me showing you how to do this. Uh, I'm not trying to take credit for your work. So we're going to pretend this is my work. Uh, I'm going to right-click, copy image. Okay, close this window. And go to my module, back to my assignment, the makeup assignment. And it says to... Paste the photo into a text entry. So I've got a submit assignment so that the text entry option is open. It's here. I'm going to right click, paste, paste that image in there. Okay. And then it said to grade myself from one to four on craftsmanship. So, all right, craftsmanship. And then work ethic. And this is not my painting, so I feel a little awkward right now. But let's say craftsmanship, I'm going to give myself a three. And I'm not suggesting that this person gives themselves a three. This is just an example. Okay. Uh, craftsmanship, I think I got like a three. And work ethic, well, I wasn't able to finish. Um, but when I was in class, I was working really hard. I just was sick a few days. So I feel like I worked really hard on it. So I'm still going to give myself a four. All right. Then, after we do these two items, craftsmanship and work ethic, number two, then type up your reflection answering these questions. What do you like about your painting and how could you improve your painting? And you know what? I might just copy and paste these. Copy. Just a right click copy. And command V or right click paste. Space these out. What do you like about your painting? I really like the use of color and how my graded washes turned out for the background sky. Okay, how could you improve your painting? Um, let's see. Well, really, it just needs more layers and it needs to be finished. I would put more time and effort into this painting to complete it. Okay. That was option one, you guys. So we've done, we found our picture. We copied and pasted it into a text entry. And we rated ourselves one to four on craftsmanship and work ethic. And then we answered the reflection questions. Okay. All right. So all I would need to do is click submit assignment. Now let's say you have multiple of these. It might be easier if you do a file upload. So, let's say we did all of this. I'm going to copy and paste the whole thing. Right click, copy. Let's say we had multiple paintings, so we decided to do this in a Google Doc. <clears throat> this would be our landscape painting, and maybe I'll label it so Mrs. Nelson knows. Oops, Command Z. I mean, okay, I should know by looking at it, right? We're just going to go landscape. All right, but I'm also missing my value. So I'm going to go back to Canvas, go under Files, 
And now if this is just one assignment that works, click Submit Assignment, okay? Uh, but we're going to pretend we have more. So I'm going to go to Files. I can leave this page. I'm not worried about it. And Paintings Left at School. And I'm trying to find my value painting. So let's pretend this one is mine. We're going to right-click Copy. Paste. a little smaller and I'm gonna follow the same procedure so command C command V craftsmanship um, I was trying to develop my value but I wasn't really there yet I'm gonna give myself a two Work ethic, um, I was there actually and I didn't work very hard. And I remember, I don't know who this is, and I'm just saying this as an example, okay? Uh, but yeah, I was at class, but I was kind of off task, that's why I didn't finish, so I'm going to give myself a two. Okay, what did you like about your painting? Um, I liked the flat washes I was able to create. They looked even and smooth. Uh, how could you improve your painting? I could have put more time and effort to finish my project. And if I were to do this again, I would work on developing my darker values. Okay, cool. So we have this, just pretend this one worked, because really we all know that we can go back to files, click copy, click paste, okay? So that image is there, this image is here, and uh, we are going to, well, here's, here's one thing. So if you are in Canvas, I'm not sure what it looks like for you guys, because when I go to modules, and I'm in student view, and I go to makeup assignment, if I click Google Drive, it says this tool is not available while masquerading. I'm guessing masquerading means me being in student view. This is not what I usually see, okay? So let's go to File Upload, and you could choose file if it's saved as a PDF or a Word doc. Um, so let me show you how in Google Doc how to create a PDF. We're going to click File up here and go download PDF document. That means it's going to keep everything exactly the same as how I just made it. Now this just went down into my downloads so I can go back here go choose file. It's probably best that you name it but I'm assuming you guys know how to do this so in downloads I'm just looking at this document here. Okay, I'm going to go open. I see that it's attached now. It has my untitled document like I said, it's better if you rename that. And I'm going to click Submit Assignment. Okay, That one had two different assignments on it, so that's one way that you can uh, upload multiple assignments. Alright guys, sorry this video went a little bit longer than I wanted, but uh, hopefully you now understand how to do this project in case you are confused by just the written instructions themselves. Please message me in Canvas or on email if you have any questions or just respond into our discussion boards. All right, thanks.